G'day you good motherfuckers, the Butts Man here, and this is perhaps the most important video that I will ever make. It's a video about mental health, and I've been requested to make this video for some time, and it's something I've thought about for a long time as well. It's something I've weighed up whether or not to make. A lot of people said don't make it, a lot of people said make it, and I thought I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to stand here and talk to a camera. There is no script, there is nothing written for this, I'm just going to speak from the heart, I guess, and I'm going to try not to edit it at all, and no jump cuts. It's going to be just me talking. Because every single person watching this video right now has had, will have, or is currently having a problem with mental illness. Now, that may be somewhere on a spectrum, from something that just completely destroys your life to something that just pisses you off a little bit. Mental illness is... In all honesty, it's just like the common cold. It's an illness. It's something that affects people for a period of time and they've got to treat it. They have to deal with it to get rid of it, much like the common cold. But people are terrified of mental illness. They're terrified of the idea. And people often say there's a stigma around it. I don't think there is. I don't think there is a stigma anymore. I think in some cases, in some communities, there may be a stigma, particularly in men. There's still a little bit of a stigma there. I think the stigma is now around receiving help. I don't think there is a stigma around uh, talking about it per se, but there is definitely a stigma about taking medication or seeing a psychologist or changing a diet, those type of things. Uh, but we'll get to that. Mental illness is something that has affected me and I'm not scared to say that anymore. That's something that terrified me. I never wanted to be one of those people who was suffering from anxiety and depression. I've never been someone who has suffered from depression, and up until exactly 12 months ago, I was never someone who had suffered from anxiety. Now this isn't gonna be one of these YouTuber videos where I start crying and woe is me. I'm not looking for anyone's support. I'm not looking for anyone to send me messages and let me know how much they bloody care about me beard. Listen, I'm okay, I'm getting better, I'm seeking the help uh, that I need and uh, I'm putting the things in motion to get better and get back to my normal self. But for me, my issue started 12 months ago and it just so happens that it's about exactly the day that it, that it actually took place. It actually started happening. I started having, having panic attacks and uh, panic attacks are very, very strange things. If you've never had one and I had never had one, uh, it's terrifying. It's fucking horrible. Uh, you just start freaking out. You think you're dying. And it's not this whole thing that you actually think you're dying. Your body is telling you that you're dying. Your heart's beating ridiculously fast. You're sitting down, all these type of things. You're sweating. You're freaking out. It's not good, is what I'm trying to get at. And this was happening um, in conjunction with me working with people in the mental health sphere. I was uh, a carer. And apparently that's really common. Uh, I read about it in a couple of forums, apparently it's really common to happen in those type of workplaces that people develop anxiety. And uh, fast forward to probably a month or so after, I was driving home from a gig from uh, Maitland to Newcastle, which is about an hour's drive. And I started to feel very strange in my head and my neck and I felt weird and I just didn't feel good, I felt very scared, all these type of things. And I equated that to my problems with epilepsy I've had in the past. So I was now terrified that I was going to have an epileptic attack. Even though I was treated for epilepsy and I hadn't had one in a long time, that was the connection that my brain made. And as I was driving, I had another panic attack. And then I woke up the next day feeling really tight through my neck and back and I was scared and worried for no reason, for zero reason. And then after the next couple of weeks, I was feeling this every single day. I went to the doctors. He said, mate, I think you've just got anxiety. And I was like, no, that can't be right. I'm feeling like me. there's problems in my neck. And he said, yeah, that's a symptom. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't think you understand, Doc. I'm feeling tight through my neck and my back and my traps and I feel weird and it's really tight when I move my arms around like that. I wake up like this. He said, that's anxiety. I said, no, no, you don't understand. He said, listen, what I'll do is I'll send you for an MRI. We'll check out your cervical spine to see if there's any, anything structurally going on in there. So I went and had the MRI, everything was fine. I went to an osteopath, an acupuncturist, a chiropractor, a masseuse for months 
for months and I obsessed myself with it. The job I was working at the time was not overly, uh, you didn't have to be, be there. Like you had to be there, but you weren't there mentally. So I had plenty of time to worry about it. I was Googling it all the bloody time. I obsessed myself with it. And then it was some sort of obsessive compulsive disorder. I had to be Googling shit about what was wrong with my neck. And this went on for six months, which made what happened to be anxiety even worse. And this greatly affected my life. Somehow, I still got videos out every single week, but I was, ladies and gentlemen, I was really struggling. And it wasn't until the point that I fucking broke down in tears that I, that I decided to go to the doctor and talk to the doc. And I said, doctor, I need to, I didn't say doctor, I said his name. That'd be weird if I said, doctor, I need some help. I said, doc, I need some help, mate. And he said, okay, we're gonna do something up which is called a mental health plan. And you're gonna go and you get uh, a rebate from the government and you go and get, uh, you go and see a psychologist. And I went and spoke to the psychologist and she explained to me how the sympathetic nervous system works, where your body has been trained through whatever reason to think that you're in fear. You need to be in fear rather, and you need to be running from something even though there's nothing there. And I tried to explain this to my dad and I tried to explain this to other people in my family who had had anxiety before when they were having these attacks. I used to say to them, I used to say, listen, it's, it's okay, just calm down. You cannot calm down. And if you have anxiety, you know what I'm talking about. I would sit there in the lounge, the place I used to love and relax and watch TV for hours and play PS4, all that type of shit. I would sit there and I would be relaxed into the lounge, but my brain would be acting like right next to me was a fucking velociraptor trying to rip me dick off. That's what it was like. It was very, very strange. And this happened throughout the entire, um, my, my entire, my entire, Jesus, this is why I edit things. My entire Australian tour before I would walk on stage. And this never happened before. I never used to be scared going on stage. And now sometimes, not so much anymore, but especially at the start of the tour, I was petrified. Like I was shaking, I was worried I was gonna faint. All these ridiculous things were going on. And for the first 20 minutes of most sets that I would do at my shows, I was just like, oh my God. And some of you guys would might have been there. I was shaking when I'd pick up water bottles and ridiculous things like that. And uh, that, was, that was rather embarrassing, but you know, this is just, what fucking happens with anxiety? So I've been seeing a psychologist. Yes, me, big old butts man. He's going to see a shrink, but hey, it helps. And at that point in your life where you are struggling, you need to go and get help. At this point in videos, I usually do a jump cut, but I said jump cut, but I said I'm not going to do one. So this is what I do on a jump cut. You ready? You ready? And then I wait for it to focus, and we start again. So I went and saw someone, I got help. And I'm not better yet, but I'm getting there. And it's the same for people with depression. Go and see someone, go and get help. There's other things you can do as well. You can sort your diet out. If you're laying in a lounge all day when you get home from work, a job you hate with a relationship you're in that you fucking hate, or you're getting bullied at school or work, change those things, try and change those things. Put your mind into something that is beneficial for you. Because ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this. If you are not focused on something, you can easily get lost in the very catacombs that are your mind. And I paused there dramatically because I thought that was really cool what I just said. Cut shot. Right? Cool. Anyway... <laughs> Mental illness does not discriminate. It doesn't. It doesn't care how big your dick is. It doesn't care how long your beard is. It doesn't matter how fucking busty your boobs are. It does not care. Rich or poor, it doesn't care. It will affect you at some point. And it's not what happens to you, it's how you react. Do you delve deep into your mind and make it stronger? Or do you seek help or put the things in place? I don't have the answer for you right now, but if you are currently suffering from something, know it from me, this dude you see every single week putting up videos, so make sure you subscribe because they're fucking awesome. It's okay and you're not alone. You're not. If I, big old bearded butterfield, old tough nuts over here with me pale skin and me, People keep saying I'm balding. You can shut the fuck up. I'm not balding. It's just my hairline. Cut shot. <laughs> it's okay. And you're going to be okay. 
particularly if you're young, you're gonna get through this. If you're a little bit older, you're gonna get through this. Change things in your life. Seek help. If you need medication, then take it. Okay, sometimes, like for example, if your life's going really good, you're doing all the things you want to do. You've got a lovely family, people that love you around you. You're fit, you're healthy, and you're still fucked. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. There may be medications for you. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. and I'm not offering any medical help here. But make sure the things that you are doing in your life are in order and then go and see someone. Because I don't know if this video is going to help one person, 10 people, or I just hope it helps one. That's what I hope. I've got a big reach on YouTube now, thanks to you good motherfuckers. And I just thought that today I would make an effort to produce something that might be able to help someone. Because I get messages all the time from people who are struggling in whatever facet of their life, particularly mental health. And I thought rather than replying to every single message, this because I'm... You know when YouTubers and Instagram people go, I can't reply to every message. They're just being fucking lazy. All right, I'm lazy, all right? Sorry. Um, this is the message back to you guys. If you are struggling, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. I don't know how, but you'll get through it. All right? Go and seek help. Make sure you build that environment around you. Don't get stuck in your head, which is the hardest thing not to do, but figure out a way to do it because your life is very fucking valuable. That is a direct threat. Your life's valuable. And if you don't think your life is valuable, add value to it. Do things within your own life, within your own capacity. Build things, create things, do things, do something. Because you may get lost in your own head and that's a bad place to be sometimes. I've been there. It's not good. It's hard to get out of. And honestly, like this, I cannot begin to tell you how common this is. It is the number one reason people go to the doctors is something to do with mental illness and mental health, anxiety, depression, these type of things. It is the number one reason something's going wrong with people, including myself and probably including you. Maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow, maybe 10 years ago, or maybe 10 years in the future. And I hope this video helps you then, before or now. Because this will affect people. It does. Mental illness just affects, affects so many different people. And for me personally, it was so strange. It was hard to deal with and it was frustrating to deal with as well. Because 2018 was the year that I grew my YouTube channel. I did a sold out Australian tour. I was more successful than I've ever been in my entire life. I had people around me that loved me. I got a beautiful dog. All these type of things, right? Everything was going great, but it was also the most unhappy I've ever been in my entire life, the most worried I've ever been in my entire life, the saddest I've ever been. And that's a weird thing to comprehend in your own mind. Anyway, now that I've got all, now I'll go get the tissues out because I'm being a sad bastard. Um, let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you like this type of video because I think it's important that we talk about this. If you need, if you need, to contact someone, I'm not gonna put it in the top comment. Here's what I'm gonna do. If you need to talk to someone, what you're gonna do right, oh my God, there's bloody messages coming through on my phone. Fuck off, hang on. Jesus Christ, on my phone, the last thing that was on my phone was a Greyhound chat. If you haven't followed Rosie, follow uh, at Lady Rose the Grey. If you need to talk to someone, I'm not giving you my number, don't freak out, that would be weird. Call Lifeline. That's what you need to do, call Lifeline. Can't find their number, you're not gonna write down the number, just Google like anybody else. Go and organize a conversation with your doctor. Tell people in your family, tell them that you need help. Don't bloody hide from the fact that you aren't feeling yourself. If you're not feeling yourself, you're sick. And like any other sickness, seek help. Okay? It doesn't have to be in the form of a pill, or it might be. It could be you have to change your exercise regime. You need to lose weight. You need to eat a better diet. You need to, I don't know. It could be so many different things. Get new friends, get a new partner, sort out problems at home, all those things. Maybe that might be the thing you need to do. Whatever it happens to be, just know that you're not alone. 
That's the whole point of this video is to tell you that if you are experiencing something tough right now in your life, you are not alone. Everything's going to be okay. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. I don't know where to go from here. I'm going to go eat a block of chocolate. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to go for a run because I'm a fit bastard with my new t-shirt. I went and bought t-shirts the other day because every single bloody video I'm wearing the fucking same t-shirt and I was getting pissed off because <laughs> they all look like the same video and I can't use the thumbnail. Anyway, that's my own problem. Hopefully I didn't have to edit this at all or maybe I had to edit a little bit because I was just hopeless. But uh, no, it wasn't hopeless. Positive, Butterfield. Come on, son. Get up there, bloody... Where is it? Lord Butterfield, Scottish Highlands, something something else. Have a good one, guys. Um, if you Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you think it was a good video, if you think it was a waste of time, uh, if you, I don't know, just tell me. Anyway, uh, I'm now going to do a very dramatic exit. Are you ready?